Hello, my name is Abby, and welcome to my first Skater Excel tutorial. Um, this is a mostly unscripted video, so I may waffle occasionally, and oh, there we go. Uh, I may uh a lot. Uh, if you don't like that, there are plenty of other tutorials that are more edited down. Um, but I wanted to put all the information I've learned about this game in a single place and collate it for the community. Uh, I will be going over basically all of the in my basic tutorials, I'm basically basically going to be going over all of the information we learn from the base game, a couple of more advanced mechanics, and in my advanced tutorials, I'm going to be talking about things that the tutorials in-game don't tell you at all. Um, we're going to be going over things like double grinds, 540 flips, no stalls on the barrier, uh, weird stuff like that. But this is just going to be the advanced movement tutorial. So a little background about me. I really like movement games. Movement games have always been my passion, and I think that skateboarding games are a unique thread in that. Uh, and I think that this game does have really great movement. So let's jump right in. Takes a bit to start up. So this is Skater XL by Easy Day Studios. Uh, it's twenty dollars on Steam right now. It's one of the best things you can buy. I have a controller cam for your convenience in the corner there. And today we're going to be over going over basic movement. So the most basic things you can know about movement are pushing and turning. It takes four pushes to get up to full speed. Turning too tightly will lose you a little bit. It is very recommended to use a controller with uh, variable triggers. So like I can partially hold down the trigger and you can see that there. This will help with fine adjustment. Uh, I highly recommend PS4 controller. Um, the Xbox controllers triggers are a little shitty. I've heard, I heard they break. Um, so as you can see, you use the triggers to turn. You can also turn with the stick, but it tends to end up in you accidentally doing a lot of pop shots. Uh, you can turn with the other stick as well, which is a little weird. Uh, mostly, you'll use that for fine adjustment, uh, if you use it at all. Um, it might help with fine adjustment using the sticks if you do not have variable trigger pressure. Uh, that's probably what I'd use it for. Uh, so, four pushes to hold speed. Uh, we'll be talking about ollies. Hold down on the right stick and flick up to do an ollie. Hold up on the left stick and flick down to do an ollie. Hold down on both and flick up to do a high ollie. And hold up on both and flick down to do a high nollie. Now, there's more to that, but we'll go over that in the advanced tutorial. Uh, in the air, you can also hold the turn button to turn. And if you hold for an ollie, or an ollie, you know, either one, and then you start turning, your character's arms will lock into place like that. That means that you will get more turn out of that. Uh, that is directly related to high ollies. It does not work on low ollies. On low ollies, you will keep turning in case you need to find adjust. But that's a good way to get 180s, is by turning a little into it. Um, we will go over better ways to do 180s in the advanced tutorial. So, thank you for watching, and goodbye.